everybody. Uh, thank you so much for joining this morning. I know we're going to have some stragglers coming in on a Friday morning at 9 a.m. Uh, welcome to the Lisa Parento Team Mastermind Fridays. We do this once a month, uh, sometimes more often, and we just try to really offer value to the to to my rev uh, my my group. But also, we always open it up to uh, anyone who's in our extended uh, EXP family to kind of come together and just become better realtors and become better agents. And we do mindset, we do real estate. And this morning we're gonna do a little bit of that fabulous thing that we have um, uniquely at eXp Realty, which is RevShare. And there's nobody better to uh, help us all and coach us but Tom Trong, who is my, my great, good friend and uh, direct sponsor and is probably somehow connected to mostly everybody who's here one way or another. Um, and I kind of asked Tom if he'd come on this morning and, you know, kind of, you know, we're going to open this up. We really, I really want this to be of, of value and constructive to everybody. So we're going to sort of talk about, um, rev share in general, how Tom has built his team, um, field a bunch of questions. And then I've asked Tom if he would really go live and do some cold calling and then coach us in between all of that, because I don't know about you guys, but this thing wherever it is becomes my worst enemy um i mean it's great for you know for scrolling on on TikTok, but um actually picking it up making phone calls to other agents and sharing with them this life-changing opportunity is something that for a variety of weird reasons is not uh, an easy thing for me uh, but first of all also um so thank you so much for joining everybody uh and that will be awesome as tom said put in the chat where you're from, maybe your contact info so that we can connect with each other um, just for our network and also to grow our real estate referral network. Um, but I know Tom also uh, asked me if the folks at Attract Zen, um, one of the CRMs that we have available to us to kind of track and work with what we're doing um, for our attraction. Um, they're a new product actually my real estate coach has been involved with the development over the past couple of months, Russ Call You, so I've been aware of Track Zen and what's happening with it um, for a little while. And I've actually talked, I don't know if I've talked to Nick. I feel like I talked to, maybe it was Nick. Hey, a couple times. Yeah, hey, Nick. Um, so anyway, I wanted to give Nick an opportunity to share a little bit. So uh, the other one that we have is CRM Grow, which we can certainly talk about as well. But, um, you know, Nick, give us a background. This is a group of, of realtors. This is a group of EXP agents who um, want to sell more real estate. Uh, also, many of them, of course, are, are aware of the, the revenue share attraction piece of what we do. And so um, we want to learn more about how to keep track of that and how to follow up. Because besides it's picking up the phone, the second thing that mo that I am not good at, maybe you all are fabulous, but the second thing I'm not good at is follow up. So anything that will help me to follow up better with those leads that I have is great. So the floor is yours, Nick. Awesome. Okay. awesome. Hey, Nick, hang on a second. So Nick, if you would share with uh, folks, you know, what we've done with the agentsgetfree.com website and let them know, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, where, where they go to basically, um, there it is. It's in the chat. That, that's the link that you to, want. Do you want to share screens, Nick? I can make you, I can. That's the link that, that uh, that's a link that you're going to use. Um, actually, I'll send it right here, right now. Uh, I got it in the chat, Tom. Hold on one second. There it is. You can share openly with everybody. Yep. Okay, good. On a goatee. And basically, this is the link here um, that you would, uh, that's my affiliate link. So if you click through that, you're going to get the benefit of everything that we have built so far. We've got, I'm not kidding you, hundreds of hours into this between Nick, mostly, Marissa, mostly, um, and my two virtual assistants who work for us full time. Been working on this for, for a month. And so as we continue to build this out, add content, keep the content updated. Um, if you have the affiliate link that you, that you sign through, then you get the benefit of all of that. If you don't use the affiliate link, good luck. Spend the next three months figuring it out on your own. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Nick, that, go ahead. Let's share with folks what this site is all about. And I, I just, yeah, you can go ahead and use that screen sharing. Yeah, thanks, Tom. So can everyone see my screen here? Looking at agents get free. So like Tom said, so um, just to get kind of like a high level overview real quick, 
Um, CRM Grow, which most, most of you guys are using, um, is a great tool. It's a simple tool that solves a couple problems, right? You know, for sending video, maybe someone to put your, your agent recruits. Um, and Attract Zen has almost every single feature that CRM Grow has with all the videos uploaded. Same all right, I got to be on this meeting. Oh, hello? Okay. It's an hour. Uh, my, uh, my, Thank you. That's why I want to mute yourselves too, by the way. Um, if you can, uh, but I was going to say, so as part of that, so CRM Grow has a lot of those tools, has a lot of those systems, um, but it, it just solves a couple problems uh, for you. Uh, what Attract Zen does, it takes everything that CRM Grow has, but then it adds the capabilities of things like click funnels, adds the capabilities of things like lead generation. So you can create landing pages and different lead magnets for events, for uh, creating a process, a system, a customer journey. Um, for your team. So what we've done with Tom is created an entire funnel for agent attraction. As he said, agents get free website. So you can see here, we've created this entire website with agent attraction resources, with links to his different uh, locations for webinars uh, and special events, right? And this is a hub for all of your his resources that Tom has put together over the years, all the upcoming trainings, all the events going on, similar to how Brent Gove is doing this, except now you have everything in one place, including onboarding, important links to things, agent onboarding resources by state, KV core training, which of course I've been a national KV core instructor for four years. So I have KV core training, which I've licensed and put into here as well. Real estate training, Attract Zen, obviously, uh, you, the number one recruiting platform that is blowing it up out there. Attraction videos, training calendar, everything is in one place. This is your one-stop shop for finding everything regarding uh, growing your business, right, in your in your team. But you also have this login back here because TrackZen is also a course builder. So you also have these features here where you can see we preloaded a ton of content in here, combine it with Tom's resources that he has, you know, like commercial, uh, residential, psychology of sales, agent attraction, uh, resources. And these are all step-by-step -step videos, guides, uh, PDFs, resources that are going to help you guys age and attract. And as Tom mentioned, like Tom, we're going to be growing this, right? This is going to yep. be added to constantly with new material from other leaders in and around the country. So where this really comes in for those of you that are looking to simplify your recruiting process, I'd love to actually take you guys through a simple recruiting pipeline. So if you guys can still see my screen. And then give me one second, pause for a second. Let me fill in some stuff. So sure. great stuff, great intro. That is a mouthful, folks. Here's the most important thing. You notice that it is not branded to Tom Trong resources, Brent Gove resources, Lisa Parento resources, Nick Macri's resources, it's agents resources, right? First and foremost, I want you to understand that. Way too often, what happens is um, as we grow and as you build your organizations, organizations will get fractured. People start breaking off. And then everyone has at least seven tiers they're getting paid on. And then what happens when tier one and tier three gets fractured off and they splinter off? And then your agent that you just brought in is getting information from me from let's say Lisa, from Tracy Lewis, Scott Lewis, Rob Flick, G. Frederick, you can see how it can get crazy. So what I'm trying to do folks is to pull everyone together. I let Nick know, cause he, Nick has other clients outside of my line that everything that I build will be shared with all of the other rock stars in the company if and only if they shake hands and they say everything they build, they will share with us because you can't just take and not give. Does that make sense, everybody? Is that fair? In my world, I think it's fair. Absolutely. But when you scroll down here, you'll see videos. The only reason my videos are there is because I'm waiting for you guys to send in your videos. Many of you invested, stop right there, please, right there. Many of you invested in professional videos that you have done, please get it over to us. We want, I wanna highlight leaders. I wanna hi highlight videos that have meaning that others can point to, to use, to share 
video testimonials. Hey, go to this website, check out Lisa Parento's uh, testimony, check out Dorothy's uh, Manning's testimony, check out Barbara Legg's testimony. I think you will relate to Gabriel's story. I think you will relate to this, that, and the other. Does that make sense, guys? And this is a living, breathing document where we can all come together and help us build. The only reason I, my calendar is the only one in there is because I'm the one who's sh sh only sharing my calendar. If you guys are doing live events, please, please, please share where your live event is, share the links to register, and the rest of us can leverage that. Does that make sense? All right, back to you, Nick. Yeah, no, I love that, Tom. I think this is an awesome thing. And, and so again, so we're gonna be strategic partners, you know, with Tom, we hope to be for a long time. So yeah, send them Tom's way. You can send us, send the videos to us as well. We can help upload those. Um, Tom's got a great team. Uh, you know, I think this is the right vision for agents out there that want to leverage themselves, especially for newer agents or agents that maybe don't have as much uh, experience agent attracting. I mean, use this site to show it off. Like, hey, look at all the resources, my group, you know, group it together. Right. That's the idea. Um, and so like on the back end, this is this is a little bit of just a, I'm going to do a quick demo on some ways that uh, uh, Attract Zen works for real estate agents out there to attract and not chase uh, agents, you know, which is an important flipping and mindset, right? This is going to help you attract people to you. And so uh, what, what this does is it creates automations, which by the way, we're on mobile. So we're fully active on mobile. We have an awesome mobile app for those of you out there that are using it. And it's as simple as sliding someone over. This kind of looks like a Trello board, right guys? You can just simply slide someone over on your pipeline. So it's nice and visual. And by sliding someone over, let's say from appointment confirmed to appointment, let's say completed, Right. So I updated to completed. Tom, you're going to receive a text message and an email here in a second, all because I just slid you over and the automations are there. We have four partners that attract Zen. We have a number of strategic relationships and partners like Russ Kalio, like you were just mentioning. Right. So we have amazing people, Lisa, in our group and our organization that have put this together. This is a company built by EXP agents for EXP agents. So you can see that all I did was slide Tom over. Uh, and he's already gotten copied on here. He's got a text message. He got an email with a downloadable file. So you can see here, he got this email uh, with uh, the slideshow presentation for EXP. He got a text message already. He said, hey, Tom, thanks for taking the time to jump on the call to explore our growth at EXP. I just emailed you a copy of the slideshow and the link to get started with your application, right? Like all of these things, we have the systems, the, the automations built out so you don't have to think about them. So if you guys are trying to figure out what to do on follow-up, we know most agents, Tom, right? They don't follow up after the call. That's right. how they don't get these agents. They may have a great Zoom call. Maybe they book you on a three-way, you know, on the call. And then after they get off, they they never, fin you know, follow up. And, and that's why they, you know, the closing uh, conversion is lowered. So we have all of these in terms of the follow-up and the nurture. Those are called workflows. And we have all of those created for different kinds of uh, situations, for example, like a three-way Zoom call. Now we also over here have what we call our funnels. And these are our different pages here for some of the templates that you get. So with the track Zen, you get you access to different templates for events. So if you wanted to do lunch and learns like this one that was done, you know, for Tom back in July, you can see that these lunch and learn events, these are all templates that we give to you. So don't recreate the wheel, right, Tom? That's what your idea is with uh, right. agents get free. Well, by the same token, with these, we give these templates now. We have uh, easy click and paste templates for creating uh, lunch and learn event pages. So you don't have to go to Eventbrite and then go to MailChimp and then go to CRM Grow because you got to export your list. And then you got to figure out how, what emails to send. And then you got to type the emails. You got to trigger them. You don't have to do any of that. What you need, what all you have to do for those that want the easy button, we have the template. You just replace the photo, change the date, the time, boom, you got all this. It's right there. Then all you got to do is just connect it uh, to the, the people that you want to send it to. So you either just got to, you know, hook it up to a domain and now you just got to post it on Facebook or import some contacts and you can send it to them. But you don't have to ever leave a track Zen. What it is, is it houses all these capabilities under one roof. So you don't have to go anywhere. You got one password, one payment. You never have to export your leads all, you know, every single time or write people's names down. It all works together in unison. 
Uh, and that's what makes this thing so awesome. So I could go a lot deeper on some of the other things, but for most of you guys out there, these are the most basic use cases is having different pipelines for even like onboarding, recruiting, or for an event where you can trigger automation, being able to follow up with all your contacts and send mass email and texting, uh, voicemails. It has a dialer. This also, I mean, this is just a robust CRM, but it, like I said, it takes everything from CRM Grow with a robust CRM, but then it adds all these other features that you can use for lead generation, nurture and conversion. And even for your downline, even connecting this website, this website that Tom's been showing off, this was built on a track Zen and you can build these kinds of things there because you can host websites. So for everyone out there, like I said, I'm going to put, uh, like Tom mentioned earlier, um, we have even a way for us as owners of Attract Zen to share additional resources with those of you guys who Tom wants to approve. And what Tom had just mentioned earlier is that we have these database, uh, this database that's going to be growing every day of resources here. <clears throat> and if you guys want access, additional access, if you guys signed up for Attract Zen through our attractzen.com, you could get it for $47 a month. Okay, for the pro plot or for pro plan. And that would include pretty much every feature that I just explained today. The only thing it wouldn't include is this member training area and the Stripe pri uh, pricing, which means you can, you know, basically sell things on there. But because Tom has bought into enterprise and Tom has gone for the Mac Daddy version and he's building out a system for everybody. Again, if you use Tom's affiliate link, which I just put in the chat there, and you guys uh, jump on board with him. You guys will have access not only to all of those resources, but you guys will be able to plug into his stuff as well and even add to it so that you guys can be a part of Agents Get Free going forward. So we've built this, we've built this company as well, not just you know on the affiliate side, just for, for the financial benefit. That's not why Tom's doing it. It's more so to tie people together. So if you guys want to join together and strategically work together as a group, as a community to build. Um, we can share the resources with you guys. And I think that's how all, all of us grow together. I think, Tom, would you agree? Awesome. Very good, man. Thank you. Um, Nick's covered a lot there. And as you can see, there's, a, there's so much information there. The whole point, yeah, guys, is just to get you guys free, right? To get you guys to build the life that you want to build, live the life you want to live, and not have to worry about recreating the wheel every single time all by yourself. I don't want to do it by myself. I, I don't want to do it by myself. I need all of your help. We need all of your help. When we've come together and we share best practices, best resources, guess what? A whole team grows and you have a better life. That's it. All right? Thank you What's so next, much. Lisa Parenta? That's 20 yeah. minutes of your call. That's a third of the call already. We've got two thirds left. I know, I know. So thank you so much. Really appreciate that. You know, it's just to me, the 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 culture that we all are sharing in, the collaboration, like we, you know, like I often say in our EXP Explained, I, I came here for the money, but that's not why I stay. I stay here for the collaboration and the community and the generosity and the cycle of abundance that I've found here that I really haven't found in another brokerage. I mean, we might find that in our friendship circles, but we don't find it always in our workspace. And I'm so forever grateful for that. So I wanted to focus on opening this up for um, some collaborative collaboration with uh, my team and then anybody who wanted to jump on uh, this morning to sort of talk about the, the let's roll up our sleeves, the down and dirty, uh, how, we, how you've grown uh, your rev share organization now to over a thousand. I've watched part of it over two years and I wanna say um, it, I will probably say just like lots of great things in the world. It's simple, but not easy. But I want to turn this over to you and then I'm going to ask you to maybe jump in and do some cold calls for us and coach us in between, but go ahead. The floor okay. is yours, You got it. 40 minutes, 38 minutes left. Here we oh. go. So it's, it's simple, but not easy. You know why it's not easy folks It's because we're independent contractors and we don't have a boss. So no one watches our clock. No one tells us we have to show up at nine and leave at five. No one says you can take a break at 1030 and come back at 11 o'clock and work your tail off until lunch. And then when the five o'clock bell goes off, you can go home. That's not the real toast life, is it? That's the hardest part is, is time blocking. It's, it's not getting distracted by the next text that comes in when you time block two hours to do agent attraction. And then a text comes in and you can't resist not picking up that phone, not switching over to text or WhatsApp or Facebook because you got a notification. And then you thought you spent two hours working on agent attraction. You really only spent 20 minutes and of which you really didn't get into the mindset 
of getting a no after a no after a no after a no because those are next opportunities, the next opportunities because the next opportunity is answering a text and doing something else and you didn't and, and, and the train just started to leave the station, but it never picked up momentum. So you never get beyond 15 miles per hour. Does that make sense? I, this morning, Marissa and I, you know, we're talking, I share some personal, we're, we're lying in bed, we're, we're talking about our day, we're talking about this and talking about that. And, you know, she says, Tom, you don't pay attention to me when I'm talking to you sometimes. I need you to pay more attention to me. I said, honey, I time block those two hours to do this thing. You understand, if I don't do the time blocking and I don't stay focused, my train just went from, it, it was going up, it was on the momentum from going 15 miles an hour, picking it up to 30 miles an hour. But if uh, I have to stop, then I have to go back to zero miles an hour and my juices aren't flowing anymore. The, the machine is not well oiled anymore and I have to start back over again. So you think I've been building revenue share, but I haven't because I never got to 60 miles per hour or hundred miles per hour. Think about that for a second. Think about that and about anything that you do in life, not just agent attraction, right? So, um, I came, Lisa came for the money and she stayed for the people. I came for the money. I'm going to put this on billboard. I want this to stay with EXP now. Tom Tron came for the money. Tom Tron stays for the money because he leaves, he's leaving way too much behind. And along the way, the folks came and the relationships came and the relationships got developed and those are becoming friends for life. But if it was, wasn't for the money, ain't staying. Because if I found a better platform, a better program, Glenn Sanford, Jason Guessing, let's go to the new platform because there's a better mousetrap. When you guys get that from your head to your heart and you know that we, the 32 of us on this call, have the best real estate entrepreneurial platform to help agents get free, then you don't care when people say no, because you know more than they know. They don't know what they don't know. And it's our job, folks, to impress upon them, to slow them down long enough so that we do our best to share with them what we know, how life can be different for them if they remain in the real estate business, that there is a better train, that there is a faster car that there is a rocket ship that can take your business to new heights because once you know that no one can shake your tree so it's all mindset right the five steps of recruiting it's in agent uh, agentsgetfree.com it's what scott lewis and other leaders and i put together it was at least three months in the making where we were in a group chat together texting each other we, we, there's at least 50 steps to recruiting but as leaders, we know the simpler we keep it, the easier it is for people because the best business plans are the simplest business plans. Five steps of attraction. Number one, be excited. So I am getting myself fired up now, do you see? Because I'm about to make phone calls. And if I don't fire myself up, how I'm gonna be excited, how I'm gonna come across the other side. So part of me giving you this lecture is to fire myself up because I do have the best real estate platform on planet Earth. And if anybody finds me something better, I will join. I certainly take a look at it, right? Make a, uh, make a list. That's number two. Are you guys making a list? How big is your list? So last night, before I went to bed, I have, I have so many business cards that I never got to. So last night, before I went to bed, I pulled out some business cards that I have not called on. There they are, okay? So today, when you guys tell me to co call, I'm, you're gonna pick a number and I'm gonna count the numbers and we're just gonna pick it out of the, pick it out of the, the, the stack and off we go to co call, okay? How cool is that? There's my list. And that's probably just over the last three months. I'll never, ever, ever get to everybody. So if I don't get to everybody, Am I doing them a favor by investing my two hours a day calling them versus calling somebody else? Or are they doing me a favor? Who has more to, who has more to share? And I can't stop Lisa Parento. 
I can't stop Brian Allen, but I can't stop Daniel Lang. I can't stop John Huey. I certainly can't stop Mick, Nick Macri and Corinne and Barbara and Jack from building because they caught the bug. If they caught the bug, they ain't stopping. I don't have to promote them anymore. I might lead, I might guide, I might try to streamline their businesses a little bit better because that's a leader. We have to do that for our folks, but I can't stop them. I can't kill their dream anymore because they finally found a tool to achieve their dreams, whatever their dreams are. All right, so get, get excited, make a list, and then basically um, invite. Invite, invite, invite to show the program. So when we start cold calling and dialing people, I'm inviting. After invite, somewhere in there, there's a wealth chart. You got to build a wealth chart, okay? And after you invite, you got to show the program. That's number four. Show the program. As fast as you can, show the program. I like to show it in person. I My success rate, chip rate, and yours too, guys, your success rate will be extremely high when you show the program on your own. Even if you mistakes, make mistakes, you still know more than they do. Just follow the PowerPoint that, 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 that we give you. Follow the PowerPoint on join.exprealty.com. It's there. Okay. Um, it's also there on agentsgetfree.com. It's there. Just follow. It's like 30 slides, guys. Just go through the slides. Show it. Show it. Show it. Give your perspective. You don't have to be the end all. Because part of, and then last but not least, number five is follow up. That's it. That's a five step plan. Follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. And the track zen and agents get free gives you more tools to follow up, right? Follow up includes three way calls, inviting them to an event, sending them to Las Vegas for convention, or just catching back up with them over a cup of coffee or a meal and talk something other than real estate to make sure that they know that we're just human beings. We're, yes, we work hard, but we also have relationships that we wanna grow and maintain and blah, blah, blah. So that's all part of the follow-up. So that's it. I just went through the five-step program. Any questions about the five steps? Now we got 29 minutes left to the call. <laughs> all right, all right. questions right. so far? Yeah, anybody, anyone who open their mic and get questions? Anything about these five? Five steps of recruiting. Scott Lewis and I have been going do, doing this for over a year, right? Thursdays, uh, I mean, every other Saturday we do this. And then um, I think it's every uh, first and third Tuesdays of the month we do this, right? It's an accountability group and then a, a, a training group. So um, you so make I, sure that you, you join that. But, but again, those events are on agentsgetfree.com. So you never forget. And it's, by the way, here's a tip for you. When you click on the event, if you hit interested, it'll give you a reminder somehow. But if you click going and then you save it to your calendar, boom, it just goes in. And you, what you can do is you can save, you can say going for the next four or five events and then add to your calendar and automatically populate your calendar. And here's one more tip I give you. It's all about time blocking, right? Set an automatic reminder so the alarm goes off a day before and two days before so that you don't let anything else get in the way of showing up at these training. If agent attraction is important to you. So often we say, I want to go to that. I want to go to that. And then Friday night, something comes up and then we, 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 and then we book, we book something on top of the Saturday training that we said a week ago that was our priority and then we just decided not to do it anymore. That happens all the time. Agents cancel appointments because the shoelaces break. And, and Tom, don't agents also cancel appointments because they, they don't put it in their phone with like, you know, they don't put it in their calendar. We rely too much on that um, because I think sometimes when I, in the past, I've gotten business cards I just, you know, would trust that they would put in their calendar and then they forget, right? Um, right. So I, I think what I want to show something too, because you mentioned that when we're connecting with agents, uh, this is a digital business card that everyone gets with the Track Zen as well. So you can customize your own cards. And on these cards, you can literally scan to download contact. And you can even add an option here for like booking a call. So it goes right on their calendar. So I, I actually have been doing this now at live events. When someone I meet with, I say, hey, can we grab coffee next Tuesday? I'll book a time and I'll send the invite 
to their calendar. So it actually, you can put it on your calendar and theirs with one click. Yeah, and this is so amazing. Yeah, that's the one thing I know that one of the many things that my coach Russ, who was involved with this, says that you know you you need to start living to your calendar, and then the shiny stuff cannot keep coming into your life, like Tom was saying, getting the answer in that text, you know. And so the more you can build things into your life that book your calendar out, that are meaningful and intentional, and that are really addressing your goals the more you're gonna be able to stop with the shiny object syndrome that we all have SOS and stay on those goals. Two people have their hands raised. I know Kareen was one and then Daniel wanted to pop in. We gotta get this cold calls though, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Kareen. Um, real quickly, I've been doing, um, I joined DXP in December and I plugged right into the Team, Disrupt, team Disruptor um, Tuesdays and Saturdays. And I, speaking of calendars, I put it on my calendar as a recurring event like that never ends so that it is always on my calendar. So when I'm like, someone says, oh, can you do something Saturday? I'm like, let me check my calendar. Oh no, I can't. I'm busy from 10 to 12. I can do something at one, et cetera. Um, that being said, what is the best calendar to use? Because I use the, I'm not even sure. I don't use the Google calendar, but is that better than whatever is on the iPhone? I use my iPhone calendar because my iPhone's there with me all the time. Um, you know, okay. my, um, Get the calendar that works is the one that you stick to, right? The CRM that works is the one that you stick to. There's no map. Yes, we talk about KV Core, but if you don't want to use KV Core, don't use it. Thank you. Yeah. Good question. All right, Dan, you had a question. Oh, no worries. You know, because we have a commercial class coming in December. So every time we have these big five day classes, I create my own Eventbrite link. So I register. So because uh, EXP Commercial has a link and you know you register the people but you don't know who registered so if, what i've been doing is actually collecting the data and I'm, i have my va directly manually enter those people in the exp commercials uh registration that's the only way i can keep track and send guest passes and things like that so i guess we can use a track zen their website uh, and create that but i'll talk to um, yeah, talk to Nick directly about it. I, I would love for you to solve that for us too, Dan, because uh, that, 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 that's, that's a universal uh, uh, challenge, right? That's a universal solution. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Who wants me to call on their prospect for them? Well, call on, yeah, we gotta just got to see something. I think Who wants me to call on your prospect for you? Ooh. Ooh, la, la. Instead of me calling my prospects, it's about you guys. And by the way, here's, here's a bonus for you. I know this is an hour. If you guys are going to jump off in, in 23 minutes, go for it. I will stick around for an extra 30 minutes because my next appointment's not until, um, you know, 30 minutes afterwards. So if you jump off, go for it. But I'll stick around for an extra 30 to do cold calls because I got to make my calls anyhow. So. And Lisa, I if you got to run, just, just make me host. That way you can jump off. All right, Nishmila, would you just say something? Yeah, um, there's this girl. She is from, like, Howard Hanna. I met her, and she seemed like she was really fed up with that brokerage. Um, so, I was, so I was wondering, maybe you could give her a call and see, you know, how you could approach her and coming over to EXP. All right. So, how is, okay, so Ishmila Cleary, and how do you know her? I met her at a showing. Oh man, what's the house name? But you'll remember my name because I I've a been showing where? A showing what town? In the Bronx. A, a showing family. in the Bronx. Okay, and and what? What? what you, you, uh, how, why do you like her? Give me one good thing that I can say about her. Oh, she has a great personality. She's very outgoing. She speaks Spanish and English. She she's very friendly. Um, I can tell she's very passionate about what she does. She's been doing this for a while. And in her Instagram, like you can see that she really loves what she's doing. And she wants, she has a family. So obviously she wants to grow okay. and provide for them. So, all right. Do you think if, if I call her that she would pick up or she, th th she, she thinks it's spam or should you call me first on my cell phone and then you can patch her in and I can talk with her? How do you want me to do this? You want to just pick up the phone and call her directly? Um, I guess you can call her and just say, hey, Smelia Cleary, give me your contact or something. I don't know. I, I'm, okay. I'm not really sure how to approach this. All right, done. Here we go. Thank you. Hi, we reach 
Let me send her a text. Hi, Jessica, comma. This is Tom, period. I got your name and number from Ishmelia Cleary, period. I'd love to speak with you about real estate, period. When can you chat, question mark. So the text goes, hi, Jessica, this is Tom. I got your message. I got your name and number from Ishmelia Cleary. I'd love to speak with you about real estate. Can you, when can you chat? Awesome, Tom. Thank you. All right. Let's see now. Daniel Ang. Okay, here we go. Oh, man, you guys are keeping me busy today. I love it. All right, so the next up was, is Kathy Cruz. Tell me about this agent. Don't mention his name right now. Tell me about this agent and how, oh, here she comes. She's calling me back. Here we go. Woo. Yes, hi. Hey, how are you? Thanks for calling me back so quickly. Yeah, I just started two missed calls. I was like, I don't know who's calling me this early, but hello. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, you don't know me from a hole in the wall, but you've met Ishmila Cleary at a showing in Bronx. Is that right? Possibly. That's where I work. Yeah. So listen, I was asking her if she knew of any rock star agents in New York, especially the Bronx, because I'm looking to grow my, uh, my organization, my real estate sales organization. Are you open-minded to taking a look? This? Who is this who recommended me? Ishmelia Cleary. She was an agent that was showing one of your properties in the Bronx recently. And she said, oh, okay. she yes, said you had a great yes. personality. You're bilingual. You speak Spanish, English. You're passionate <laughs> about everything you do. She follows your Instagram. She loves it. So, you know, I'm always looking for leaders and rock stars to get to know, number one, and just to compare the notes and to see, you know, on a scale of one to 10, how would you like to get your business to an 11? <laughs> All right. I love it. I told us, you know, I told her that I'm, I am happy with the programs that I'm with. I am happy with my, my current broker slash manager. He's uh, very supportive, you know, and very well, well we, can, we can, we can add him to the team too. I want you to be happy. I don't want to work with miserable people. If you were miserable, I would tell Ishmelia, I don't want to call her. No, that's good. That's good. So, um, currently I'm going to be just really honest with you. I am under contract. I'm in my contract yep. until the end of January. Okay. So regardless, I had told her, you know, I didn't want to make any type of decisions at this point, um, on what I'm going to do for the new year when my renewal is up, you know, do. Okay. I totally respect that. I love loyalty, I, man. I, I, I did I, consider EXP in the past. Yep. Um, it's just that when we, uh, our company was acquired, I don't want to say acquired, but it really was, I should say, with Howard Hanna Rand Realty. And um, with the new partnership, we did get a new manager. So prior to him being on board, I did, you know, visit the idea of going with EXP or, um, the next one was actually Keller, but at, now that yeah, Keller who? <laughs> Keller. <laughs> but now that um, because you know what it is, a lot of the folks that were with my office, they ended up moving over there. We used to be eighty agents, and then now we're down to like twenty five, I think. But you know, we're all individuals, so who cares? Understood. But just over, just to give you a little roundabout. So anyway, long story short, they brought on this new gentleman, and he's been just great, phenomenal. So that's why I decided to stay, and I've been, you know, so committed. Awesome, I, I love that. And I know you said your contract comes up at the end of December, January. I would, I would never expect you to make a jump like without doing your full due diligence. What I'd love to do is, if it's okay with you, can we set a time for, you know, maybe this weekend for us to jump on a Zoom call with Ishmelia or early next week to jump on a Zoom call and I'll show you. Right now, the answer is no, you cannot join no matter what, even if you want to, you won't. We'll take that off the table, but I just want to make sure that you fully see the program, that I get to know you to see if we like each other, see if we can work together. And if we can't, we made a new friend, but we don't have to be business partners. Is that fair? Oh, that's awesome. So I would say most likely it would be the beginning of December. I would be more open to like to, All right. to jump on the call. I love it. I love, I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, are, are you driving right now or are you able to pull up your calendar? <laughs> Do you mind putting me in your speakerphone and looking at your calendar in December? Yeah, sure. 
All right, I am looking at my December. Um, December 1st is a Wednesday. That's as good as any other day if you want to talk on December 1st. Okay, so uh, let's see what's going on the second. Do I have trainings usually on Wednesdays? Yeah, how about Thursday? Thursday, Thursday anytime before one. Let's do Thursday, December 2nd at 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. That's perfect. I'm putting it in right now. All right. I will let Ishmelia know. That Tom, Tom, what is your last name? Trung, T R U O N G. T R, I'm sorry. T R O U N G, Trung? Close. U O. I'll tell you what. I, I, when we hang up, I will start a new group text with you, me, and Ishmelia. Okay. And what is your position within EFT Realty? I am an agent. I am a, a broker associate. I used to own uh, four brokerages here in Massachusetts. I have a large team in the Bronx and the surrounding New York area. Ishmaelia is one of our team members, and we're always looking to add talent. And you know, I guess if uh, my, my position is I love this organization, I love the platform, and I want to change people's lives. Okay. All right. I'm open to your, I'm open to all about it. Absolutely. All right. So December 2nd, 11 a.m., we are confirmed. I, yes, I, I just added it to my calendar. You're the best. All right. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Safe, I appreciate the call. Safe travels traveling. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Oh my God, Tom. That was awesome. So we're starting a we're starting a <laughs> hey Tom, we're starting a GoFundMe account so we can just pay you to make our calls. We're all gonna contribute to it, no problem. <laughs> I already started. <laughs> All right, Ishmaelia, you need to create that group text, put it in a calendar Send invite to me and her, please. Okay, All perfect. Right. I'll do it now. All right, and then we're gonna drip on her before then, just so you know. So the rest of this uh, folks here, I'm gonna Ishmaelia. I will take control. I will begin to drip on her after the weekend. Next Tuesday, I'm gonna drip on her. So I say, you know, just to just to wet the appetite. If I sent you a nine and a half minute video, will you promise to watch the whole thing just to get us, get us up to speed? Because the hour call will go by really fast. I just want to make sure that 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 uh, you know you begin the you, you, you get you get an understanding something like that in my text, right? Perfect. So I'm starting a group text and sending a Google invite. Yes. Just uh, give it give 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 it ten minutes, okay? Okay. Give it 10 minutes. I say, Tom gave me a call. I'm so glad you and he connected. Um, just confirming our call for uh, December 2nd, 11 a.m. Got All it. Right. Thank you. Let's Thank you so much. Here. You got it. Let's keep moving. Okay. So who's next in this feed here? Uh, Boston. Lisa Parento. Let's see. So after Ishmaelia came, Kathy. Kathy. Tom. Kathy Cruz. Unmute yourself. I know <laughs> wrong button. <laughs> How do you know Bobby? Don't say his last name. Don't say his company. How do you know Bobby? Um, he was on the buyer side of my listing um, a couple of years ago, and he just has a great open personality, very open minded, very helpful. He would make a great addition to EXP because he has the same culture mindset. A couple of years ago. Okay, and you haven't spoken with him since? Oh, I have, here and there. When's the last time you spoke with him? Um, during COVID. Okay. And you guys did a deal, where was it two years ago? Mansfield. Mansfield. Okay, here we go. Marissa asked me if I'm doing the jumpy thing again. Sure, baby. Come on, pick up Bobby, pick up. Pick up Bobby, pick up. See, most of you say, I wish he doesn't pick up. I hope he doesn't pick up. Please don't I pick up. Like, <laughs> 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 
I would text him the same thing I texted before because it's a system. Copy, go over here and text. Let's say. All right, it's gonna say, hi, Bobby. Instead of Jessica, just search and replace. Hi, Bobby. This is Tom, I got your name and number from Kathy Cruz. C-R-U-Z. I'd love to speak with you about real estate. When can we chat? Boom, it just went out. All right, next. Ryan, Lisa, what do you, tell me something about Ryan. Yeah, so Ryan was actually you. We did a uh, an in person EXP explained with him in uh, Hyannis um, probably a year ago. Uh, it was before? Oh gosh, could it have been before the pandemic? Oh my god! So uh, I've done a ton of stuff. I've actually sent him a picture of he and his son as a gift. Like I've you know, I mean, I've really done a lot. Really a great, great, great guy. Um, he's with a local brokerage. Uh, I think that he is uh, a sole supporter of the family and just the idea of kind of moving over. And I don't think, I think he sees some value, but it it, it just hasn't, okay. he hasn't gotten sick and tired of being sick and tired. Do you remember if I actually like shook his hand? took Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we were at Cape Space together. We were in that little room and did a presentation. All right, here we go. Thank sailor, you. he's a sailor. He's the sailor, gotcha. Yes, yes, yes. I remember him now. And he actually used to be a, a water treatment, water conservation treatment engineering guy. So he's got that. Okay. Here we go. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Hi there, you reach Ryan Mann from Stay Real Estate on Cape Cod. I'm sorry I'm not able to come on the phone right now, but please leave a brief message. I All right, I'm going to text Ryan a different kind of text. <sighs> Gee, you guys are making me work today. I love it. Here we go, Ryan. He also, you know, he's on my, my CRM Grow, so he opens up stuff. I can see it. Um, you know, he definitely... Okay. He, there so it's gonna say hi ryan this is tom you notice i don't put tom trong for a reason just tom because it piques the curiosity uh we met we met about a year ago in hyannis through lisa parento i'd love to speak with you about real estate when can you chat? It just went off. Okay, let's see what happens next. Okay. All right, Jackie, Daniel, talk to me about who Jackie is. Hey, Tom. Yeah, she uh, she's an agent. She's been seasoned probably. I've known her about five, six years ago. And, uh, you know, she, she did interview, interview me with my other company, with my other partners in the past. Uh, just never been very aggressive in pulling her. I've talked to her a little bit. Uh, she just she's been traveling and she's coming back and I've been trying to meaning to schedule time with her. So if you want to give her a call, I mean, she's a uh, she is probably maybe five deals shy from like an icon, but I know I can push her to she'll have some more motivation. She's with a franchise brokerage. She was a franchise brokerage. All right, here we go. <laughs> Come on, Jackie, pick up the phone. Realtors, pick up your phone. They're doing their prospecting. Come on, Jackie, pick up your phone. I doubt it. <laughs> Between nine and 12, prospect, prospect hours. Hey, 
it is in fact because I am either on another line or busy at an appointment. Please leave a voicemail or for a faster response, just text me. My number is 469-438. All right, I'm going to text her the same thing. Message. Hey, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. This is Tom. I get your name and number from Daniel Eng. From Dan Eng. I'd love to speak with you about real estate. When can you chat? All right. Next. Okay, we already did. Did we do Bobby already? Yeah, we did Bobby already. I got it. Okay. All right. Enoch. Eva, talk to me about Enoch. Who is Enoch? I met Enoch uh, personally yesterday because his client wanted to see this listing of mine, which is three acres of land. And uh, we've been talking before that, but just via text once or twice on the phone. Um, then finally arranged the meeting yesterday and I met him and he kept calling it Expo which I found really funny that he had never heard of EXP. And uh, so I explained a little bit about EXP to him. I definitely, I said, you know, can you hop on a Zoom at two o'clock today? Because I know we had a Zoom at two o'clock yesterday. Um, yeah. He said he couldn't. And so I said, well, you know, do your research. It's all over YouTube and I'm going to send you a video. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely do research. I told him about stocks that we get awarded. Um, so really haven't followed up with him i just got a text from him this morning about the land um they're gonna send an offer but i i guess i want the the push to get him to hop on a zoom or be able to do a presentation in front of him he's been in real estate for 23 years very busy man okay um are you prepared to show on the program of course okay so what, so, um, he, he just doesn't have the time to get with me. I mean, that's how he comes off very, very busy. I, I don't know if it's just avoiding it or, or is he really that busy? Can't hop on a zoom. All right. All right. Let's do it. I got gotcha. you. Let me just wing it. See what happens here. Enoch. I'm knocking on your door, Enoch. <laughs> Four, six, seven, eight, five, two, four, three, two, eight. What do you want me to do, Eva? You want me to text him? What do you want me to do? I have a feeling he'll call you back. All right. Just call him back. Just call him back and say, hey, Enoch, I know you're busy. I know we're in the middle of a land deal together, but are you, if you're like me, we're all as busy as we want to be. When can you, would, can you, can you time block 20 minutes of your time to focus on the platform that is exploding across the world? Give me 20 minutes, give me and, uh, and, and, and my business partner, Tom, 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, if we piqued your interest, then we will ask for another 40 minutes. If not, we'll call it a day. I Sounds use good. that line a lot with busy people. Thank you. That was great. And repeat, uh, that, repeat that, please. Hey, Enoch, um, I know we're doing this land deal together and I know you're a very busy person just like I am, but if you have 20 minutes- of, If you can time block. If you can time block 20 minutes, um, for me and my partner, Tom, to hop on a Zoom. Um, if after the 20 minutes, we've, uh, we, we, if after the, the 20 minutes, we've piqued your interest to want more. Your interest. Okay. If we've piqued your interest enough to want more, then we'll need more time after that. If not, we'll call it a day. Gotcha. Thank you. Tom, yeah. I have a burning question. Go. Since almost a year. What did you say to Jim Wong? 
Did you know him from before? Of course, of course I know Jim Huang, yeah. So no, Jim Huang, before. for those who don't know, is our commercial president uh, that, that left, uh, you know, uh, 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 Sperry, Sperry CTA to come over and lead our thing. It took me two and a half years to bring Jim on. Um, I, 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 um, I invited him. I, I invited him to a convention, to national convention, two and a half years ago. Right. So I said, Jim, you you buy your um, you buy your hotel room. I'll excuse me. You buy your airline ticket. Remember, he's coming from Los Angeles to Las Vegas. Didn't cost him much. Maybe I don't know, a hundred bucks round trip or something. I'll get your hotel room, and I'll get you your um, pass to national convention. And I need you to uh, consult for me, and let me know if. EXP was going to build a brand new commercial business from the ground up. How would we build it? That was my line to get Jim there. Jim went, Jim studied the program. He was open-minded. He paid attention. He showed up, blah, blah, blah. Then I invited him back again, same deal to our shareholders meeting six, five, six months later. At that point in time, in between, I was talking to Glenn Sanford and Jason Guessing and Jeff Whiteside and all the leaders about opening up a commercial. And I said, I've got the guy that you might want to pick your brain, pick his brain. You know, they didn't go in thinking they're going to recruit him. They went into that meeting, everybody thinking we're just going to collaborate. Jim's going to share his knowledge. Long story short, they were impressed with Jim and the rest is history. They says, Jim's the guy. Jim's the guy who can help us open up EXP commercial. So that's the story. But again, it took two and and years. Two That's and a half what, years, yeah. lots of follow-up, lots of investments, relationships in between. We serve in ARIA. We do all that, right? Yeah. Exactly. It wasn't, it was, it's follow-up, follow-up, follow-up. That fifth step, guys, is follow-up. Making the call today, what I'm doing now with you guys is easy. It's now Ishmelia, it's Dan, it's Eva, it's, you know, uh, Kathy Cruz. It's the follow-up that is the so much harder piece that agents fall on. And then because we don't follow up, they join somebody else and then we get pissed off about it. We have the goods, boys and girls. They don't. When you understand that, you just make the calls. Eventually today or tomorrow, I'm gonna make somebody's day. I'm gonna change their lives. They don't know it yet. They don't know it yet. Okay. And there's a bunch of people that have commercial folks. Uh, Louise has a commercial. I have a commercial. Somebody else mentioned a commercial. It's All interesting because right. I. I'm so let's do this. Uh, let's see. So I call for Dan. Who? Let me see. I'm going down the list. Uh, Louise, where's Louise? All right, commercial agent. You spoke with me and James Huang on Zoom, but he has a deal to get close. He has a deal to get close. Okay, so what do you want me to do with that, Louise? Just check up on the guy as a follow up? Yeah, I mean, I haven't spoken to him in a little while. I, I sent him an invite to something in New York because he's in New York and Tennessee. Um, he didn't respond to that text. Um, I know he has a $32 million deal closing first quarter of 2022, but he loved the splits because, as you know, people in commercial know, the splits are fantastic with the XP, like they're okay. out of control. So I just thought it might be good for him to hear from you, but he's a little ways off. I have That's somebody okay. else I'm more recently talking to if you'd rather right. call her. Here we go. Follow up. Okay, thanks. Peter, it's Tom Trong, EXP Commercial. I'm not sure if you remember, you were on a uh, Zoom call with me and our commercial president, James Fong, along with Louise Knight. Oh yeah, sure, absolutely. How have you been? Good, yourself? Good, man. I just want to touch base. You showed up in my follow up here um, and I want to just reach out. I know that last time we talked, you were pretty excited about it. But I think if Louise told me right, you were in the middle of a big deal that you uh, that, that you're closing some time in the future. Uh, but I didn't want to be a stranger. I just want to pick up the phone and say hello. Oh, no, I appreciate it. You know, I've got, uh, I have a thirty two million dollar deal that will close. The money went hard. And it will close probably April. Um, so April, April of 2020, so about five months from now. Yeah, 2022. But then it's a four phase, 180 unit apartment complex. It's really like single family home, a build to rent. If you know what, you know, you've seen that model. I, I, I love that model. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's, a, it's paid out over four phases. 
So it's about about another year or so beyond that where I get paid out. Okay. Um, so. So I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. Um, does your independent contract contractor agreement, as it reads now, prohibit you from making a move to uh, upgrade your real estate platform? And, and I think so. I think it does. I have to go back. I'm pretty sure Marcus is pretty tough. If you leave, you leave the money on the table, even though it, even if it it closed, and you haven't gotten paid out, you lose the money. It's, so it's kind of tough. Okay. So I have to go back and read. Yeah, you know, revisit the agreement. But that was my understanding that um, if you leave and there's money left on the table, you leave it there. Okay. Which is kind of, you know, that's a little bit painful. Uh, you, you know, Jim Huang came from Marcus Millichap, right? Our commercial president? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I, I, I mean, it, it may be too personal, but if you want, I can help you review that. I can ha have our attorneys review that, just that one paragraph uh, and get back to you. That, that might help just so you know that you know that you know. But yeah, I mean, uh, I'm traveling today. Oh, we should do that somewhere down the road. I'm not going to hold off on that. All right. I'll let Louise Knight, I, she knows I'm calling you anyhow, but I'll, I'll ask her to follow up with you to get that, that section of the ICA to read through. Um, sure. and, uh, and then one other thing is, you know, five months uh, might go fast for some people. It might go slow for others, but for real estate, you know, rock stars like you and me, we're doing deals. So I'd love to be able to find a loophole or find a way for you to come really join our platform. If, if you're still excited about it and help us grow commercials exploding across the country, across the world. And we need leadership. We need guys like you who are doing these types of deals who can come into our platform and share your knowledge and collaborate. And you'll be surprised the amount of referral income that you can receive as a result of giving back to our communities. There's 67,000 agents now and residential agents, and they need a lot of commercial help, man. So I'd love yeah. to get you plugged into that. Yeah, let's do this. Why don't we circle back to traveling to Washington, D.C. this weekend? Um, then I'll be back in Tennessee uh, next, you know, next week. Okay. If, you know, I, I, just give me a ring back. Or I'll, I'll pull up the agreement. I just got to dig it up. All right. I know I have it somewhere. I just got to find it. Done. And, um, we'll, we'll follow up next week and, and, and we'll do that. We'll go through that. And man, between your, 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 you, you being licensed in New York and Tennessee, I mean, if, just a quick reminder, you know, with EXP, um, you know, it's one cap, it's one slow $20,000 cap. And then you go to a hundred percent commission for the rest of that calendar year. I mean, that's a hundred thousand GCI. I mean, that's, you know, for guys like that's you, that's right. drop in the bucket. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. No, I think that's, that's great. Yeah. And then you get the stock and everything else. If you remember that. Yeah, hey, what, I would be happy to talk to you. All right, let's touch base. Uh, well, when did you say next week? When next week? Yeah, oh, yeah I would say I've got a couple of, I've got to do some continuing education courses next week. So I do have some time slots that are kind of consumed. But I would say like maybe Wednesday of next week would be good. Right. Or That's Friday, I've got classes Tuesday and Thursday. All right, Wednesday or Friday next week. I'll be in Las Vegas for our national convention. I'll be hanging out with Jim and... Uh, I think Louise might be going there too, but in, in the middle of the convention, we'll just give a call, we'll touch base, we'll text. All right, very good. Thanks All right. Thanks, bye-bye. Bye. What oh do you God. think, Louise? That was amazing. That was great. Oh my God, yes, I will be at EXP Con as well, Monday through Friday. Fantastic, thank you. You have some homework to do, okay? Yes. I want his independent contractor agreement. Got it. Okay, and then the following week, I want you to. Uh, you're, here's your next thing, Louise. You yeah. must, you must, you must get him to download EXP World, create his avatar, and go to the commercial meeting. Okay. When he gets to the commercial meeting and he meets the likes of Daniel Lang, who's on this call, and other leaders, he's going to be blown away when he hears them testifying, saying they have inbound commercial leads that they can help our residential agents close, he will be blown away. And also if he gets rev share at all, the idea that he's in that first couple hundred people, and I mean, I don't think people understand the importance of that because this is like Elizabeth Riley at number 466, right? You can't stop this if you wanted to. And if you're a commercial person getting in early like this, everybody's gonna come after you. I mean, my head explodes when I start to think about that. If I was, you know, in a different place, I would love to be into commercial, but. All right, I'm gonna keep moving. <laughs> Follow point. up on that, okay? Sasha, Eric is a buyer's agent on your 
current listing. Tell me something good about Eric. Hey, Tom. Yeah, just the uh, first name that pop, popped into my head. Uh, thank you for, for the opportunity, Tom. Good to see you. Good to see you, everybody. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we just uh, just put a property on the market uh, about two weeks ago, and uh, he brought a client. Uh, uh, he's an agent, uh, active agent here in Brooklyn, New York, and uh uh, I just mentioned if he was if um, if he would he would be open to an, an opportunity. He said yes. I said okay. We'll we'll speak more a little bit later. Um, but we are currently in the deal. We have an accepted offer uh, for the property. Congratulations. So he said yes. He's open to the opportunity. So what do you, what do you, what do you, what's the goal of my call here? You want me to you know, put who you want you want me to book an appointment so you can show him the program. Uh, yeah. Yes. You can show. You can. You can drive to him, and of course you can drive to him because you guys are doing a little deal together. You can meet yeah. him a cup of cup. You can meet him. He'll buy you a cup of coffee, and you'll show him the program. Sure. Here we go. Eric, and this property is in the. Where is it again? In the Bronx? In Brooklyn? Sure. In Brooklyn? Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mute your microphones, everybody. Mute your mute your phones. Hello. Yes. Hi, Eric. Hi, is this Eric? Hello? Yes, is this Eric? Yes. Hey, Eric, this is Tom Trong. You don't know me at all, but you are in the middle of a deal with Sasha Alexander Gurvik. Sound okay. ring a bell? He's, he's listening. You got the buyer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm awesome. the buyer agent, yes. Awesome. Congratulations, I man. Thank you. <laughs> good, good, good. Listen, um, I am Sasha's business partner here at EXP. I'm actually a team leader, team builder, and I'm, we're always looking for talent. I was just talking to Sasha this morning, and he goes, you know, uh, th th this guy, you know, uh, Eric uh, seems like a go-getter. Would you mind just calling him and saying hello to him? I know he's been trying to pin you down uh, for a cup of coffee so he can share with you the EXP uh, platform and how it's changed his life and how it's, you know, being deemed the Amazon of real estate. Um, would you be able to time block maybe an hour to have coffee with Sasha? And, uh, and you know, I'd be on a Zoom call if you needed me. I, we'd love to just share with you the program and see if it's a fit or not. Um, so, uh, today I don't have time. I'm in Brooklyn right now. And uh, I'm meeting with uh, another appointment. Yeah. So um, maybe, so... Yeah, so I'd like to know. Yeah, how, how, how about um, how about Monday? What's your Monday looking like? Yeah, Monday Monday should be okay. Yeah. I got. I think. I think. I think. Uh, how about ten or eleven a.m. Monday morning? Yeah, ten or ten thirty maybe is okay. Right. Let's make it ten thirty, so you're not feeling like you're rushed. Mm -hmm. All yeah, right. Ten thirty should be okay. Yeah. Ten thirty a.m. Monday morning. I'll let Sasha know we spoke. He'll meet with you at a local coffee shop somewhere, and I'll be on standby to sort of answer questions for you and him. I, I, you know, we're always looking for talent. Who knows if it's a fit or not, right, Eric? Um, but at least you'll understand why we're now the fastest growing real estate platform in the world. Okay. All right, man. All right. Okay. All right. Take Thank care. You. Yep. Okay. Bye bye. Take care. That's five for five, baby. I'm on a roll. Sasha, no, you got that? No kidding. Oh you, You're the magic man. Easy. 1030. Show it to him. Yeah. Send, send me a calendar invite for, um, for 11, for, uh, let's see, if you're showing him at 1030, you should be done by around 1115. Send me a calendar invite for 11.15 to 11.45. I'll accept. I'll be on standby. If you need me to do a three-way uh, three testimonial for you to pump them up, you just introduce me. Give me a 30-second intro on what you guys covered on Monday, and I'll take it from there. You zip up, and we'll see what we can do. Appreciate it, Tom. Thank you so much. Questions on everything we've done so far, boys and girls? I was going to just kind of do a wrap up because, but I was going to wait till the end because um, I, yeah, I knew. Let's wrap it up. I think you guys get the logist of this. I can do this all day long. We, we want you to do it all day long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think there's a couple of things that I'm certainly getting from all of this. There's a level of confidence that you have that I think a lot of us don't necessarily feel when we're starting to make those calls. And so that idea of faking it till you make it is probably really important. 
but I think it comes from also a sense of, hey, I got a plate of cookies. If you want a cookie, Jesus, have one. If you don't, God bless you and go to the next person. And that's like, that's recruiting 101, right? Whether you're doing EXP or whether you're doing, you know, whatever you're doing. And I think that's something I continue to need to get my head around that, you know, I used to have an old boss that said, just keep getting the no's because 100 no's equals a yes. And so you got to keep getting those no's and mark them down. And so, um, you know, I just, it, it, I get so emotionally involved with, I don't know, what are they going to think about me? What, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, it just needs to be next, 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 next. Um, so I just, that's, that's kind of my I, I, You are absolutely right, Lisa. It's next, 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 right? Um, and, and you just got to do it. Other takeaways, guys, other questions? I think we'll wrap it up. Wow. Tom, this was awesome as always. You know, your, your partnership and your friendship is invaluable. All right, well, thank you. I'm, I, hope, I hope to inspire, that's all we got. And you guys go out and inspire. Tom, I got a good question. Yep. Okay, so these are people that we kind of already know or have met or have done deals with. What about when you go to a new city and you want to just call up random people that you just Googled? Yeah, would you do one where you where you really you, don't know the person, Tom, just so we can see that, if you don't mind? We did one with Ishmaela. Remember the first one? I'm, I, I, I'm in Boston. I hear you're a rock star in Bronx. But there was That's still a it. connection. There was a connection. It's kind of that cold. I mean, we can just call people we know, but I think what she's asking is the cold. Guys, I, I, I don't cold call. I mean, you know, there's got to be connection somewhere. You know, Scott Lewis uh, teaches on Saturdays, you know, text your friends in Philadelphia, in Timbuktu. Text your friends who live there. I am looking for great, three great real estate agents in your neighborhood. Can you give me their names? That's it. So now, you know, uh, you know, you text it back. David texts it back and says, okay, here's three great agents in my neighborhood. And I pick up the phone. Hey, Daniel, this is Tom Trung. I got your name from David Nam. He says you're a great realtor in Timbuktu. Is that true? Yes, it's true. Great. Listen, I'm not sure if you've heard or anyone has sat down with you to show, with, show you the Amazon of real estate platform. Are you open-minded to taking a look at how you can take your business from a seven, eight, or nine to an 11? Go get us who says, well, what? What are you talking about, right? Most people say, I'm good. Yeah, I know you're good. That's why I said seven, eight, or nine. That's good, but why not be great? If you had opportunity to be great, wouldn't you want to be great rather than being good? You know how I know all these lines? Because I've used them a thousand times and I've listened to YouTube videos from the leaders and I've just listened to the objection handling by, 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 um, by uh, what's his name there uh, in, 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 in Pat Hayes' group? What's his name that does, uh, does objection handling? Bob Mangold. Uh, Bob yeah. Mangold. I've listened to Bob Mangold, like I'm not kidding you, a dozen times. He's got like three, four different recordings and I memorize those lines and I go to practice those lines and I just use them. You guys can too, right? And it's be personal, it's being fun, it's connecting with people. It's having the cookies, like Lisa says, you got the cookies, you're holding the plate, not them. You're doing them a massive favor. All right, guys, thanks for all showing up. Thank you so much. This was- Thank you, Lisa, um, for organizing this. Yeah, thank, thank you. you all. This was so great. Thank you so much. Everybody wrap this up.